Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están, mis amores? ¿Cómo están haciendo? ¿Cómo les está yendo esta semana y este día? Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so y'all, we have some more news and lawsuits. Okay, the window of opportunity for these lawsuits for the Survivors Act is closing the extension for survivors to be able to get their lawsuits in is quickly approaching. I believe it ends on Friday. Don't quote me on that, either Friday or the end of this month. And so we've been seeing a great um, increase in lawsuits and people being held accountable, particularly uh, high profile individuals. And so we have yet another one. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx has now been sued for SA. Um, a woman has sued him for SA. And the details are really quite gruesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in because it's so early in the morning here. But I was like, I got to cover this. It's We have to do our part in the push, right? It, this really needs to be extended. The the I don't think it's right for there to be a deadline. I, I what sense does it make to put a deadline on holding people, particularly males, because you've noted as you've noticed there have been no females that have been sued as a result of this that I know of. So if you know of any, you can leave it in the comment below. All of the people getting sued as a result of SA, horrific acts, horrific behavior have been males because males have been abusing women. I shouldn't have said the word, um, let's say asusing women. Asusing, replace the S with a B and it's males. And I think there's maybe even an agenda being put in place by the super wealthy to get the uh, ASUS on women um, under more control and to lower those numbers because the number of women across the world choosing no longer to be with males choosing no longer to give birth has increased astronomically. And most males today are single or in the middle of a divorce. That's most males, that's where they're, they're at today. And there's gonna be more coming because it's only a matter of time before the women that are with males today realize that the male that they're with is not who they thought he was. Because, you know, males can't keep up the charade forever. It's their time. And the really rich people understand that if the problem is not rectified, if we don't reduce the amount of males that we have on planet Earth, they're all going to go extinct. There's, they're, they just are. They just are because no woman is going to choose to be with the male, reduce her life force, right? And the amount of years that she's able to live for a worthless scumbag or for anyone else for that matter. So let's dive into this story because it just came out and I was like, hey, you know, we got to cover it. I'm sleepy. I haven't done my face, my my facial routine and I got to, you know, jump in the shower and all this other stuff. So let's get into this story and see what's going on here. All right. New Yorkers to sue. to sue. The window is closing for New Yorkers to sue for sexual assaults that took place outside the usual statute of limitations. The Adult Survivors Act is set to expire this week. 
Fox News' Linda Schmidt live in our newsroom with more on this. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Teresa. Well, first of all, tonight, the law has given survivors of sexual abuse the right to file civil lawsuits in the past year for alleged abuse that happened in some cases decades ago. And some of these cases have been filed against Donald Trump, movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs, and tonight, actor Jamie Foxx. E. Jean Carroll used the Adult Survivors Act to win a $5 million civil lawsuit against former President Donald Trump, accusing him of sexual assault and suing him for defamation. Disgraced New York gynecologist Robert Haddon was sentenced to 20 years in prison in July for sexually abusing some patients. Last month, hundreds more filed suit using the New York law. Just last week, hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs settled a lawsuit with R&B singer Cassie after she claimed Combs raped and abused her. And now, actor Jamie Foxx has been accused in a civil lawsuit of sexually assaulting a woman in New York City back in 2015. These high-profile cases and thousands more are the result of Governor Hochul signing the act into law one year ago, giving survivors an opportunity for justice. They want history to, to reveal what happened to them. They don't want their abusers to get away with it. Attorney Megan Goddard represents multiple women. The Adult Survivors Act also goes after corporations, businesses, and organizations that cover up for the alleged abusers. But the special legislation expires this week. Goddard wants Albany to extend it. There's people who are calling me this week who just found out about it for the first time after Sean Combs was sued. They're living in Florida or California or Missouri or wherever. They don't know what's going on in New York. They didn't hear about this law. A penthouse model is now suing Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose, accusing him of sexually assaulting her in a New York City hotel room in 1989. State Senator Brad Hoyleman Siegel co-sponsored the Survivors Act and says he is working to convince the state legislature to extend it. There is a push among advocates, and I have to say I agree with them, to either open a new window or extend it permanently. And as of right now, there are thousands of lawsuits that have been filed under the Adult Survivors Act in the past year. But once again, that window of opportunity closes this week. Teresa, back upstairs to you. All right, Linda, thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, y'all, Jamie Foxx now, has now been sued for SA. And I have seen the details of the lawsuit forcefully groping a woman, uh, had her pinned, trapped. I'm trying not to be too graphic for y'all. I mean, I, I, I'm already losing rest. I don't want that for you. But the details are in the lawsuit paperwork, the lawsuit filing. All males. Did you hear the list? All males. The extension of this act was not gender specific. It didn't say, oh, if you have a male that essayed you or has harmed you, come forward. It was a blanket extension of the act for survivors to have a chance to come forward and speak up on what happened to them. But yet, 100% of the monsters that have been getting sued are all males. All males. So what does that tell you? How much more proof do you need? Males hate women, I am convinced. 97 to 98% of males do not like women. What does that mean? One to 3% are the outliers 
and they're not really truly outliers. It's just that they put in more effort on a daily basis to fight their natural nature. I've made a separate video, uh, and it's the title of it is Alpha Males versus Beta Males. And the goal of that video is to teach you and women in general how you can start decentering these males by by increasing your standards and your boundaries because if you ask a male all of them will make the claim that they are alpha that they are the one to three percent exception they will all say that they're all liars so in that video, and you have to listen to the whole video because I've had people that didn't even listen to the video and decided to leave a comment anyway. I left the comment there to make an example out of them. In that video, there are six steps that I talk about that will help you increase your standards and your boundaries for better protection from these males. The first one is the simplest one. It's the bare minimum requirement. If he doesn't make a minimum of $200,000 a year, you have no business even breathing around that species. That is a beta male. He has to have a minimum income of $200,000 a year, especially when we take a look at inflation. minimum and that number should be more if he's between the ages of 40 and 50. minimum income of two hundred thousand dollars a year that will x out 95 minimum 95 percent of males for you it's going to x out a lot of males and don't go by what they tell you you have to ask them how much do you make this is the beginning steps of the centering males. And I'll be very, very honest with you. My ultimate goal is to get you to the point where you not even talking or interacting with them really at all. And if you do interact with them, it's you that's playing a game and just occupying your time and then you send them packing. Because they bring nothing. They don't bring light. They don't bring life. They don't bring joy. They just can't do it. They are vile by nature. And this is like, it's the proof is right in front of your face, ladies. So to get us started on decentering males, it has to be done. They've got to go. They have to be decentered. They are no good to us women. To get us started on this, the first step is, listen, if they don't make a minimum of $200,000 a year, that's easy. That's an easy first way of Xing most of them out because money equates to resources. We did not build this patriarchy. They built this patriarchy and what they built it off of is money. So how their day and the audacity to look at us women in our face and tell us we don't have a right to seek out those resources. If he doesn't make a minimum of $200,000 a year, he gone. Stop talking to him. Don't even, don't interact with him. He is beta. Beta male right off the top. And you'll know he doesn't because these type of males they will say things and stupid things like, are oh, you crazy? The average minimum income is 50K, blah, 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 blah. That's how I know you beta. You're not alpha. Alpha does not speak like that because they have the money. If the average minimum household income is 50K, then why the heck would I get with you? You're only making 50K. I can make 50K on my own. So why would I then get with you and double my expenses? What's the purpose of that? And then on top of that, start 
bring an offspring into the world and triple, quadruple the expenses and not be able to live my purpose, not be able to guide the offspring towards living their purpose. It makes no sense. This is how you stay in poverty. Poverty-minded individuals. So you have to ask them to show you their bank account because males lie as easily as they eat, sleep, and breathe. They are liars. They're liars. I don't know any other way. I mean, look at the males that have gotten sued thus far. Could, could you tell by just watching them on a regular interview? Could you tell? You couldn't tell, could you? They are... They, they are natural liars. It's like, it's, it, it's almost like what they were born to do is lie and manipulate. So you can't just take their word for it. You can't take their word for anything. You have to ask them, hey, I need to see your bank account. And that needs to happen within the first one to three weeks of dealing with them. Because you can't afford to waste any more time than that. Don't stay there for a month, two months, three months trying to figure out what's going on. Don't nobody got time for that because you are a lot more successful by yourself. Women are a lot happier when they're single. You're a lot happier. There's really no reason to give up your freedom. There isn't, especially for a male that doesn't have resources, that, that can't add to your resources in a significant enough way that it makes enough of an impact for what you would have to put up with, which is just him being around at all. So we are working towards fully decentering them. We don't need them. And I want to guide towards that process because I know not every woman is quite there yet but they but we are and they are putting in the work the second step is to then once they check that mark we then have to look at their actions and character we don't want to end up like a jamie with a jamie fox or a a, a, a dd whatever his name is sean that's his real name right sean sean combs or something We don't want to end up with, with that. Our goal is to get to a point where we fully decenter them because you don't need them. You're better off trying to build and using your time to try to build a collective group of other women. But if you're not there yet, then use these steps so that they can protect you as you get with the program. So we're looking at actions to help us determine character. Like I said, males lie as easily as they eat, sleep, and breathe. You cannot and should not ever, I don't care if you've been together for five, 10 years, you should never believe the words that come out of a male's mouth. They are liars, manipulators. We've seen it time and time again all throughout history and we're continuing to see it today. Why do you think that marriage is in place? Why do you think this patriarchy continues to tell you that you have no use, you have no worth unless you're stuck in the house, cleaning, cooking, breathing children? None of which for which none of for which you get paid. You don't get paid for any of those things. They don't want to pay you for it. They just want to take advantage of you. This is this is not a species that you can listen to their words and say, oh, okay, because he said no. We have to look at the actions. And in order to have actions that you can observe. You cannot be the chaser. You can't chase them. You have to lean all the way back into your femininity and your feminine energy and just watch. 
Oh, he says he likes me. Well, we'll see about that. If he says he likes you, but he ain't calling, he ain't texting. If he texts you, he takes an hour, two hours to text you back. That's that's too long. He's not serious. I promise you, he ain't serious. He gone. He grabs you kind of tightly, grabs your finger, grabs your shoulder, even touches your shoulder and you don't want to be touched. He gone. That is a beta. We don't deal with betas. And most likely, you can just, you. it's really better for you just to operate under the assumption that all males are beta. Until they prove otherwise, they are all beta. 97 to 98% of them are beta by fact. So you should just operate under the assumption, it's a lot easier for you, that all of them are beta until they prove otherwise. If he doesn't give you appropriate time or notice for you to plan a date and he, he's asking, what are you doing tonight? Gone. He ain't it. That's a beta. Okay. Now you will start to see how your options will dwindle quickly and why these males aren't worth it. The third, you wanna start looking at values and beliefs. What do they believe? What are their values? So here you wanna start asking questions in regards to how do they view the role of a, of a woman? What do they think a woman's purpose is for existing? You want to start assessing all of these things because you cannot get stuck with a male that expects you to cook and clean and slave at zero pay on top of everything else. It is not possible. That's it. It's done. We're done with that era. Those are beta males. Those are subordinate males, subpar males. So you have to operate under the assumption that they are all beta, all subpar until proven otherwise. The fourth is long-term viability. So we take a look at things like how long have they been successful? How long have they been in their role? How do they go about interacting with people and others and you? Do they keep promises? That's a part also of number two, actions and character. Do they do what they say that they're going to do? Ask them more detailed questions. So some of them might try to lie to you and say, oh, yeah, I, I love working on myself. I love growing. Okay, don't just take that at face value. Again, we don't care about the words coming out of their mouth because we know they lie. They liars. So we don't care what you're what they're saying. We don't care about that. So when they say something, you have to prone for more details. Oh, how? What steps have you taken? What type of things have you done? Did you just start that process? When did you start? What encouraged you, motivated you to start on that journey? What is the biggest thing that you've learned? Through the answers, you will start to see more and more and you will start to get more and more data. Long-term viability. How do they deal with conflict? How do they speak to you when there's conflict? Do they raise their voice? Do they yell? Do they walk out on you? Ignore you? If they do any of these things, they gone. Done. Useless individual. Throw them away. Okay. The fifth, then you have to take a look at how and do they fit into your vision and goals? So you have to know yourself. What are your goals? What are your, because it's all, it's about you. You are the prize. They have been lying. If it's not what you want, he gone. He is completely useless to you. If he doesn't fit into what you want for yourself, your vision and your goals, what are you doing there? Do you envision yourself 
in the next five years still being physically harmed? Is that the vision that you have for yourself? Is the vision that you have for yourself in the next five years, taking care of several kids single-handedly, stuck in the house, no career, no passion, not being able to follow your passion, is that the vision that you have for yourself? Then why would you get a male or involved with any male that does not fit the vision that you have for yourself, the goals that you have for yourself? Make it make sense. If he's saying things like, yeah, I just want a traditional woman, he's gone. Gone. You get rid of him quickly and in a hurry, you run. I just want a traditional woman. What they're telling you is they want a slave. We are not slaves. We have put in too much work to get to where we are. Those days are gone. If you want a slave and you ain't got no money to pay for one, then you just need to be single. And remember, we're not sleeping with any of these animals. Disgusting. Don't let them touch you. At all. What have they done to deserve that? Hmm? Do you realize and do you know that biologically, sex is a reward to males. When they have sex, those same areas that um, release the hormones, the reward hormones, and leave you feeling elated, are triggered. There's also studies that have been done that the areas, the same areas in the brain that get triggered when males look at women are the same areas that get triggered when they look at objects. So essentially, males by nature view women as objects. There's studies we'll review in other videos. There's studies that have been done. You need to learn about the species that you're dealing with. You're trying to look at them as though these are actually humane beings. They're not. The last piece is the overall, you need to take a look at the overall effects on the planet, on planet Earth and Mother Nature herself. What is going to be the overall effect on planet Earth and Mother Nature herself that you putting up with these this Neanderthal will have? Is, it, is he bringing enough to the table to where you can focus even more on your calling? And your calling could be um, being in a peaceful, an even more peaceful environment where you're able to focus on contributing even more to Mother Nature herself. If you wanna write a book, plant more flowers, be out in nature more, or if you if you want a child and you want to raise that child in in peace so that that child has the maximum chance of becoming a worthwhile contributor to the earth and mother nature can you do this will it be possible with this particular individual or species. Because you can do all of those things already incredibly effectively and probably better if you're single. Honestly, it's easier, it's better, and you get there a lot quicker. So you have to know what you're trading because that's what you're trading. And you have to figure out, okay, why would I trade that? Is there anything here that makes justifiable sense for me to trade that? And that's not something that you need to be trading for beta males, especially not beta males. Even alpha males don't deserve that. If we look at history, the alpha males are alpha because they subdue other males, not because they subdue women. They subdue other males. And women, we stayed in our own group. And as a reward to the alpha males, we would pass them around. So they, the males were the three or foes. The males were the three or foes. 
look it up in history. I made a video about it, that the same video titled Alpha versus Beta Males. Go watch that video. So males are inconsequential to us. They are subpar and without us, they go extinct, period. It's as simple as that. They can't give birth. They, they can't nurture a child. They don't even have the egg. We have the egg, literally in our bodies. We can also give birth without them. We can get pregnant without them. If you didn't know that, go watch the video that I made about that. So anyway, Jamie Foxx has gotten sued for SA for inappropriately harming yet another woman. And you know she's not the only one that he has harmed. You know she's not the only one that he has, har uh, he has uh, harmed. So let's watch this last uh, video on this. Because this is just insane, y'all. How much do you have to see? Um, let's watch this video because uh, uh, there was also something that came up on J Jamie Foxx a few months ago where he used some very inappropriate rhetoric. So there's always red flags and there's always signs, ladies. And this is what I'm trying to illustrate here with with us watching this video is there's always red flags there's always signs always from the very get-go it's your job to not ignore the red flags it's your job to not ignore the signs that is your job and responsibility oopsie Jamie Foxx is apologizing for an Instagram post that was perceived as anti-Semitic. In the since-deleted post, Foxx wrote, they killed this dude named Jesus. What do you think they'll do to you? Hashtag fake friends, hashtag fake love. The actor then took to social media to apologize for the post, writing, I want to apologize to the Jewish community and everyone who is offended by my post. I now know my choice of words have caused offense and I'm sorry, that was never my intent. To clarify, I was betrayed by a fake friend and that's what I meant with they, not anything more. I only have love in my heart for everyone. I love and support the Jewish community. My deepest apologies to anyone who is offended. Nothing but love always, Jamie Foxx. The controversy around Foxx's initial post had also spread to Jennifer Aniston. In a screenshot circulated online, it appeared that Aniston liked Foxx's original post. The actress herself took to social media to clarify, noting, this really makes me sick. I did not, quote, like this post on purpose or by accident. And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by by this showing up in their feeds, I do not support any form of anti-Semitism, and I truly don't tolerate hate of any kind, period. Fox's post was criticized for seemingly promoting the anti-Semitic view that the Jewish people were responsible for the death of Jesus Christ. However, others have argued that Fox's post and expression was actually a reference to the story of how one of Jesus' disciples and close confidants Judas betrayed him, hence the hashtags fake friends and fake love. The actor's posts come as he continues to recover after he was hospitalized due to a medical complication while filming the Netflix film Back in Action. For more on the story, head to THR.com. And for the latest... All right. So there's always signs as to the type of character an individual is. He posted that on social media. That could have meant anything. But you should raise both your eyebrows, like, oh, well, you know, wait a second. And at that point, you probably want to exit the scene. Because that's one of those things. It's not like saying, oh, ha, ha. not not like, oh, ha, ha, this person fell and that was funny because they fell. That's not what we're talking about here. This is a core value and belief question mark that we have on this individual based on a comment that they decided to write and push post on. So there's always signs. Even the people that liked the comment, there's always signs as to the character. 
Okay, so that really is the point by going through this short video. That's why it's a little bit of a shorter video because what I'm trying to make sure that we understand is you cannot afford to ignore the red flags. Ladies, you can't afford to ignore the red flags. All right, so in the interest of not making this video too long, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, like the video for the YouTube algorithm, and let me know what you think. What are your thoughts? Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.